Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to Couch, Couch Potatoes. Potatoes. I'm Couch. I'm Potato. And uh, I'm playing now. Uh, we just got done playing Pac-Man. That looks so fucking nice. Yeah, I know. It's so retro, bro. So Oh, this is so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. But uh, Shady's playing now. So, uh, yeah. I mean, worst case, like, we could just, like, re you could click reset and we can lower it, but... I forgot how the game worked already. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you want, we can do that real quick. But if you're not, uh, we, we can roll with it. But uh, I found a, a really interesting fact about this game. Um, Fuck. Uh, when you die, you die. I hate that fact a lot. <laughs> when you die in the game, you die for real. He ran away? Yeah, they can run away. The last one runs away. But um, this what? is another childhood staple. Next time on Couch Potato, I'm going to play Not even one minute. <laughs> All right. but this uh, is another staple. But yeah, no, this is uh, something I played a lot when I was little. Um, this is on the same little joystick thing. What the fuck? I'm so bad at this. <laughs> Go ahead. I'm sorry. This, this is on the same joystick as the the game of Pac-Man. Your phone just vibrated, but I'm going to ignore it. Uh, hold on. I might not be able to ignore that. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die super quickly. Hold on. Wait. The ultimate death. The Chad death. The man way. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, oh my God, that's a sprite I've never seen before. Uh, I'll do whatever I want with this with this uh, this vod, but uh, anyways, Shady is playing. If I didn't say that fourteen times, but uh, there isn't really much to say about Dig Dug. Um, it's just you go up to fucking monsters and you fucking stab them with a harpoon and inflate them. DeviantArt really likes this game. Yeah, <laughs> but. But either, other than that, this game is a lot of fucking fun, and it is also one of the most brutal child-friendly games out there. I think this is like this is actually like one of the most brutal games ever invented. Fuck. I'll rip the dream. If you get, uh, I think, twenty thousand points, you get an extra life. What? Oh, that's cool though. Noted. Again, the, the hit detection is fucking wretched in this game. So yeah, I'm seeing that now. So you you kind of have to play like you know it's bad. <sighs> Understood, understood. But, like, it's not shitty, though. It's it's just not good. But this is still, like, very, um... What is the word? Primitive? Fair enough. No, 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 wait. And the man's dead. <laughs> wait, wait, no, no. All right, all right, listen. All right, listen. I need, to, I need to turn off my brain with commentary. I made, the, I made a letter S. No way. All right. I need to turn off my brain. Who, who needs to do commentary? This, dude. Right, I'm going to look there. Maybe that's why. I'm looking at the Looking at the CRT is fucking cracked, though. Like, I was, I know we say this every fucking episode, but God you, damn it. you guys have no idea how good it looks on a fucking CRT. It's legitimately really crisp, actually. It's a lot better than you guys realize. Um, I will say it forever. <laughs> again, it is super late at night, and I wanted to record something, so we're, uh, we, we gotta keep it. Oh, I was gonna kill myself. We got to keep our voices down, so we're pretty much just doing ASMR content right now. Oh, I understand how that works now. Yeah, if you walk if you walk into it, it'll stay. But if you, as soon as you walk away, it'll start falling. I shot you, you bastard! <laughs> it is really entertaining to see someone other than me play this, and it makes me really happy. Fuck you! No, I mean not you. <laughs> no, 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 I know what you mean. I got you, little bro. Little bro. <laughs> little bro. I say that to my brother all the time, and he gets so pissed off. Good yeah. heavens, I'm about to die. Oh, why don't you? Oh, you're chilling. Surprised you didn't get the onion. I, I didn't see the onion until it was too late. Until that would, it was that wouldn't have given yet. you that many points. Once you get, if you get like to like level eight, it's like it's like five thousand points. No, it's two thousand. I think I don't remember, but. This is it's so nice. It's like this is just real chill hours. Oh my god, how are you not dead? You sh you're fucking cracked. <laughs> you're fucking cracked. <laughs> hey, Peter, you're fucking cracked. Peter, Peter, I got a dub on Fortnite. I got a double Fortnite. I got the number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite about to get down. Get down. Come on, you gonna fly towards me? You gotta <laughs> You're dead. Yes. <laughs> 
<laughs> I, uh, How did I fucking predict that? I realized my mistake a little too late. All right, this one <laughs> was a. This is this is a grave error on my part. <laughs> this is this is the one. This is the one. Oh, this is definitely the one. But like, do you do? You, is this like a childhood favorite for you? Uh, so Dig Dug, so I have a, it's actually in my house. I, I'd have to ask permission to show it to you because this is my grandma's, uh, grandma, grandpa's house, a uh, little thing. But right. I used to have a Konami, like arcade cabinet. Oh shit. And it had Dig Dug on it and I played a lot. Oh, I'm envious. I, the, my only way to play all these like retro arcade games is through MAME and this thing. MAME? Uh, MAME is, uh, an arcade cabinet emulator. Oh, noted. To whoever um, fucking tells on me, fuck you. <laughs> tells on me. And if you tell on me for using an emulator for arcade machines that aren't made anymore. Bro, just buy one. I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll totally just cop out $3,000 for one machine for one game. That's what I would do. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, I'm not Billy Mitchell, all right? I'm dead. <laughs> oh I can, god, I, I can, think I might open that can of worms tonight. <laughs> Billy Mitchell? Yeah. What? Do so you know who Billy Mitchell is? I don't. <laughs> so, um this is this is actually going to be like conversation starter up uh, central. So, and Which, I might talk about Todd Rogers too. I don't know who either of these people are, but now I'm excited. So, they're I don't know these people personally, but like they're like two of the most hated people in the retro gaming community. Because um they have a tendency to sue people over nothing. Really? Oh, I got a thousand points. And the the lawsuits they make are fraudulent. Oh no. And they're suing people over their scores because they cheated. Oh. So damn. Th like, there's this Atari game called. Uh, we'll talk about Todd Rogers first because I think he's funnier. <laughs> okay. And he's like, I want to say he's like a. I don't want to say he's outright a loser, but like. I don't want. No. But like. There's a YouTuber with, like, over a million subscribers who talks about them all the time. And, um... Fuck. If... If he, uh, if he ever sees this video, uh... Go Hi. subscribe to Carl Jobs. He's fucking based as fuck. <laughs> but, um... Todd Rogers was... He claims he is the first... God damn it. ...professional video game player in the world... And Fuck. um that's a bold claim. It is a very bold claim. And he calls himself he has a bunch of like really ridiculous nicknames too. Um like one of which is like the king of video games. <laughs> now now who gave that to him? Himself. But um there's this Atari game called Dragster. I've heard of Dragster. And he claimed um so basically this game is how he got like relevant in the first place. Like literally back in the eighties we're talking. So that like I just want to let you know, everything I'm about to tell you has gone on over the course of forty years. Forty years. Forty fucking years, and these games aren't even like. And I'm not. I'm not trying to like downplay fucking a dragster, but like it's not that relevant of a game, and it is only a hundred lines of code. So, you know, it's, it's really not. Maybe that chillax big. a little maybe, bit. Maybe maybe chillax a little bit, but like, so, uh. Todd Rogers claimed he had a time of 5.51 five, five, one, 5 5 seconds on Dragster. Okay. So basically, Dragster, for those who don't know, is an Atari game where you play as an F1 car and you have to drive from one side to the other as fast as you can. Very, very simple game. And gets boring within 10 minutes. But, um... Todd Rogers claimed he got a time of 5.51. Oops. Which, back in the 80s, probably whatever. But, like, in recent years, someone went through the code of the game. Nice. That was actually really cool. But, um, someone went through the code of the game, and, you know, they made a tool-assisted speedrun of Dragster. And it, the perfect run... This is the perfect, like, you cannot, it is physically impossible to get better than yeah, this time it's, I'm about it's, it's to say. Yeah, it's TAS. Like. Yeah, it's TAS. Like, you can't fuck with a TAS. Ta TAS is, like, that's final, basically. So, TAS came out, and uh, the perfect time is 5.57. Oh, so it's impossible to yeah, get what he and, claims. And Todd Rogers claims he got a 5.51 with all these ridiculous techniques that 
two assisted speedrunners could probably emulate within a few minutes, and they never got any better than 5.57. And th this is where it gets funny, <laughs> because um, Todd Rogers had a Guinness World Record for this, right? Oh, oh fuck, rip. I walked into it. Why'd I do that? Rip, dude. Oh, you got the high score. I used to dance to this music. But, um... I'm sorry, I'm getting a little too loud, but, um... No, you're fine, you're fine. How much, ahead, how much time? I We can do, like, one more, because I suck at this. All right, well, I'll talk over... I'll talk about uh, Todd Rogers in, like, the next part, too. Okay. And I'll talk about... Maybe I'll talk about Billy Mitchell tomorrow or something. But, um... So Todd Rogers had a Guinness World Record for Dragster, and uh, Guinness revoked it. <laughs> and now you might be thinking, "Oh, this was just a one-time thing, you know? It was just Dragster." So it turns out he had seventeen hundred scores that were all faked. No, and he got outed so hard for it, and because so there's a website called Twin Galaxies. Yes, I know about Twin Galaxies. And basically... Fuck, I didn't know they counted when they were eyeballs. <laughs> Continue. Yeah, so basically, um, they're like... The, basically, they're like the speedrun.com of scores. But, like, a little bit worse and shoddier, I guess. Mm -hmm. Because verifying runs there is, like, community-based and not, not uh, moderator-based. Oh. So, but before that, video evidence wasn't required on Twin Galaxies. Oh Jesus! Really? Yeah. So <laughs> this is where this is like where it gets interesting. So, um, in like 2017, people were like demanding to see like his t like he claims he had like VHS tapes like over dozens of hours mm -hmm. of uh, all these scores he he claimed he had. You fucker, <laughs> rip, dude. And um, he's all like, you know, I have all these tapes and uh. Before a uh, video evidence was required, um, they these scores were verified by referees, by other people. So, like, a referee would work for Twin Galaxies. They'd go to that person's house, and then, like, they'd record themselves. Like, the referee would watch them play. Interesting. And would verify their the scores that way, which is, like, I call it the old-fashioned way. Which, uh, you know... Makes sense. You know, verifying by referee, you know, it's whatever. If it's, like, a live event or whatever, I'd be like, you know, that makes sense. But now I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? Like, who cares? People are going to be playing this shit at home. So, so what happened was... Um, oh, guys, I'm rip. Continue your, continue your last thought, though. Okay, so... Oh, fuck. I'm trying to... I lost track. <laughs> fuck. Um, so, Todd Rogers got outed for cheating, and um, basically he got fucking... He got exposed in every way as a fraud, a liar, etc. I'm gonna, and, I'm gonna play a little, little yeah, keep background playing, keep round playing, because so uh, you can talk. Because I'm gonna talk for at least another couple of minutes. Understood. But um, basically, Todd is adamant that these scores are real and legit, and there was a person who did verify his scores and claimed he watched them as a referee. But turns out the guy who verified his runs is uh, in in jail for thirty years. <laughs> What? <laughs> For uh, doing some not so nice <gasps> no. things to a child. No, that's not good. Yeah, it it it, it basically it didn't look good for his credibility. And um, damn, he's a. I actually don't even want to say the word. He he's the p word. Yeah, damn, he's a p word. But my god, if he isn't a good ref. <laughs> <laughs> so like um, there's just a whole bunch of like. Everybody's like, where the fuck are the tapes? And um, his excuse was always like, oh, I have to go through them and find them, and it takes too long. And everyone's like, oh, he... And everybody who exposed him was like, he's had 30-something years to to prove himself, and he never did and has, so he's just... Yeah, so he's just lying. Yeah. So, the fun... This is where the funny part gets in. Oh, I'm so, so excited. Todd Rogers... The man, the myth, the legend. Uh huh. What does he do? Is suing people. Well, not people. He's suing Guinness and Twin Galaxies for defamation and some other shit. And all because uh, his score was proven impossible and he got outed as a cheater. That is literally it. That's so actually stupid. So, no, so he has no basis then, basically. No, he has no basis. And apparently his lawsuits 
are like two pages long, and he goes in That's solo. That's not a lot for a, for a lawsuit. And one time he actually had a lawyer, and the lawyer was like, what the fuck are we doing? <laughs> Like, literally, the lawyer, like, shit himself. He's like, I want out, please. Oh. So he begged the judge to back him out, and he was like, serious? yeah, the, the judge let him out. <laughs> so even, like, even Todd's own lawyer, like, fucking backed him out. And, Jesus <laughs> dude, it, it, it is a huge rabbit hole. Billy Mitchell is an even deeper rabbit hole. And you know when we'll go down Billy Mitchell's little rabbit hole? <laughs> <laughs> Next time we'll count potatoes. Next time. Oh my gosh, you <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs>